I previously shared an AI SEO tool called Rank IQ. This was a software that I was testing out and getting good results. I wanted to share it with you. And today I am continuing to use that tool for a particular blog that needs to create a lot of content. Now, admittedly, the tool was pretty basic. It was straightforward. It required no learning curve at all whatsoever. So it was very easy for anyone really to be able to use this to find low competition keywords that were quick to rank. And in fact, the last time I talked about this software, I was sharing how even one of my posts ranked within nine hours and I was already getting organic search traffic from it. Now, of course, not all posts rank that quickly and start immediately bringing in traffic, but really the majority of these keywords, they are ranking well and they do bring in organic traffic. So the site traffic has very steadily increased month after month after month. And so has the site's revenue. But today I wanted to let you know that they actually have made a very big improvement to their software that is really gonna help those of you that create regular content or want to be able to create regular content to start hitting those content goals so that you can start increasing the revenue of your website. And today I wanna jump into the new and improved Rank IQ dashboard and then show you what they've updated and how I recommend that you use this. Right away, you're gonna see some really big updates. And so I wanna run you through what these updates are and how you're gonna be able to use them to make sure that you're hitting your content goals every single month. And it's gonna become a lot easier for you. So the first thing you're gonna notice up here at the top is going to be goals. So this is going to allow you to set monthly goals for how many new posts you want to create, how many updates, meaning how many older posts are you gonna go back and update each month, and then it's gonna track those goals for you. So throughout the month, you can see, are you on pace? Do you need to step it up? And if you wanna edit those goals, because the default is eight new posts per month and eight post updates per month, then you can simply click on edit goals and it's gonna allow you to set your own goals there. Now, if you already have Rank IQ, it's not going to track what you have done for the prior month because this is new and it's only gonna be moving forward. So let's look at their new content planner. So instead of just having a whole bunch of reports telling you what keywords to go for, what words to use in those posts, we have all the same great features that we did, but now they have added a content planner and this really levels things up here. So you'll see that there is uh, two tabs. We have an unscheduled reports tab and we also have a scheduled post tab. So under unscheduled reports, these are gonna be all the regular reports that you run for the different keywords and they're gonna list here. Now, once you actually schedule a date for those posts to be worked on, to be published, they are going to move then over to your scheduled posts tab where you're going to be able to track it. Now, once posts are over here on scheduled posts, so you can see we have a scheduled date for 8.22, 8.18, what we can do is we can click on the calendar. Now, here we can see we have some different icons appearing on different dates. So the purple icons are ones where we had new posts scheduled. The blues are post update schedules. So the ones, the older posts that we had, we went back and updated. And then if we have a post that is scheduled, but we haven't identified, is this new or an update? Well, that is there. So this is gonna let us see what we have coming up. And we can see in September, we have a couple of posts already, but we have not gone through and actually defined whether those are new or updated posts. So let's look at how to do that. Now we're gonna come back to our unscheduled reports tab. And here's what we're gonna do. You'll notice here that we have each of these posts is going to be color coded by stage. So if it is red, that means we have not started it. If this turns to orange, it means that it is in progress. And a green bar here would mean that this is now a published post. So here's what we wanna do. When I'm gonna sit down and work and I want to start building up my traffic as quickly as I can. A couple of things I'm gonna look for, and if you're familiar at all with Rank IQ or you saw my original video, this is gonna look a little familiar. We have a competition score, which typically is as high as 30 here in Rank IQ. The lower the number, the lower the competition, the easier it is. But what level of competition you wanna go for, because all of these are relatively low competition, it's just gonna depend on how aged your domain really is, how much domain authority you have built up. It's also going to tell you the visits per year and time to rank. Is it going to be ultra fast? Is it very fast? Um, is it an average rank time? So you can get an idea of how long it would take. 
So a couple of things that I would do here. First is I'm gonna go to this sort by filter. So we can look at the lowest word count, the highest word count, lowest competition, and so forth. There's several ways to organize these. So let's say you're trying to just get out some content. What you can do is say, well, I wanna sort these by the lowest word count that's recommended. So now we can see that we have a post that only needs 1,300 words in that post, even though I tend to go more than that. I might do you know, 15, 1,600 for this particular post. I don't wanna add a fluff, but I also wanna make sure I add enough detail to be the best post that is out there. So now this post looks really good to start with because the competition is relatively low. It's estimated to get about just under 14,000 visits per year, and it has a fast rank time. So that's gonna be relatively easy to create and put together. Same with this, even lower competition, not as many visits, so we have to decide if that's worth going for or not. And as you can see here, this one is only a competition of 22, 29,000 visits per year ranking fast. But what happens if I just say, you know what, let's say I am a new blog. I wanna start ranking quickly. I don't wanna go for anything too competitive. Well, then now we can sort by lowest competition. So now look at this. We have a competition of two, and this can rank very fast. Only a competition of 16 that can rank fast. So we can sort it by whatever our particular goals are. So let's take this one for instance. This is gonna show us the grade that we are aiming for. And no matter what, honestly, this grade says, if it says B minus, it says A plus, we always are gonna go for an A plus plus score. Uh, right now we have it as an A minus and we have 400 words written out of the 2000. So that probably means we have some of the outlines started we have started sorting some of the keywords that it's given us to put into the post. And now what we can do is we can start getting this scheduled. So this is where things get really neat. So we'll have a schedule date and we can say, okay, well, you know what? I want to have this scheduled for the 23rd. And it's gonna ask us just to confirm because this is going to take it off of our unscheduled reports list and move it over to scheduled posts. Now we can't get it to come back if we just unschedule it on that tab, but I'm gonna go ahead and just let it know, yes, that's where I want it to go. So now we can head over to our scheduled tab here and we're gonna see this at the top here. Can always hide the calendar if I want to. And now we can say, is this a new post or am I updating an older post? And are we researching this? Are we writing this? Are we editing this? Is it already published? So we can say we are in the research phase. Now, once we select research, writing, editing, it is going to automatically change the color here because this post is now in progress. Now we can select also writer. So if you have a team of writers and you're trying to see who's actually the one publishing these different posts, working on the different posts that are on the calendar, then you can add another writer and you'll be able to select the particular writer. So let's say Tom is going to be another writer. We can select Tom from the list. So now when we go back to our calendar and we hover over, it is going to say that this particular keyword post is in the research phase and Tom is the one who is working on it. And then we can put in our blog URL if we would like to do that here. And then we should be able to also scan by new or updated posts that are color coded on the right hand side. And then once you are ready to publish, you've done the research, you've done the writing, you are in the editing phase of this post. Now it gives you a mini checklist of the things that you wanna make sure that you do for all of your new posts. Did you add a featured image? Did you add in post images? Did you update the headings, do all the formatting? Are you adding in internal links and so forth? Now, as the months go on, because this is a brand new update, you're not gonna be able to go back in time when this update did not exist. But let's say once we get into September, you'll be able to click and say, okay, here's the schedule that we have coming up in September. Or let's say it is September. We wanna go back and say, well, hey, what happened in August? And we can go back and we can see all of the new posts that were created, the posts that were updated back then. So as you can see, this is a really neat to be able to have this content planner to help us go ahead and plan out specific days that we're gonna create specific pieces of content. So we actually make sure that it happens. And it also is giving us a way to be able to filter by what is most important to us and it's gonna help us rank the fastest, get this content out as quickly as we can. And of course, we still have access to the same great SEO report that gives us the different keywords. We still have access to the content optimizer and the list of keywords that we should be adding into our post 
to help get it to rank. I hope you enjoyed this look into the new and improved Rank IQ. Any questions about this at all, drop them down in the comments below and I'm happy to help.